Greetings people and friends. Um, I'm going to do a brief um, on the surface looking at this Extinction Rebellion and just to show some few things what I what I personally believe it's about and uh, it's a uh, machination using some truth and rallying a call for people to follow this idea just want to point out look at the the esoteric symbols that this um, organization have uh, taken on board the circle with the two triangles and um, just to give a some brief thoughts on that uh, the triangle is as above so below which is a luciferian cabalistic uh, symbol and uh, you can investigate that and discover that uh, significance in the mystical spiritualism of, of witchcraft and the circle is actually esoteric also um, according to Wicca basics What exactly is the circle? It's a magic circle. The circle is not really a circle. This is according to a witch. You should envision it more as a sphere. Imagine yourself in a giant bubble of your own creation. That big circle on the floor is only what the sphere touches and passes through the ground. The skin of the bubble prevents things from passing in and out of it. The area inside, inside of the bubble has been cleansed and consecrated. I'd like to know what has cleansed and consecrated it, mind you. The bubble is filled with, with sacred space. Where do you get that sacred space from? It is your temple. Unlike the word of God teaches that the, the body is the temple. And for that temple to be cleansed, you need the precious blood and, and the Holy Spirit of graciousness of Jesus Christ. You have to appropriate his atonement to believe in Jesus, to receive his Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, God's Holy Spirit. So there's no anything other than the Holy Spirit is counterfeit. The bubble is filled with sacred space. It is your temple and ready for your acts of worship. So it's a spiritual um, circle that's cast to perform spiritual work some would say that when you cast a circle you create a pocket and are transported you step between the worlds the worlds into the the, the forbidden worlds like the deuteronomy teaches that you shouldn't uh, worship familiar spirits or peep into other things beyond this world because there's a veil and the the only way we can uh, have connection to the spiritual it, it, the true spiritual is through the Son of God who was sent to die for the sins of the world. There's no other way. All other ways are counterfeit. I am the way, the truth and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. And the holy words revealed that all else is a Satan. There's two churches in this world. You're either born again and you're the, you're the church of Christ. I'm not talking about organised religion and all its paganistic apostasy and all the infiltration into organised religion that's uh, just discredited the word of God and the truth of the gospel but the um, there's only one one church true church and that's the, that is the indwelling Holy Spirit in believers of Christ and if you're not of the, if you're not of Christ, you're of of the devil. You're antichrist because you don't believe in the Father sending His Son. So you don't believe in the Son or the Father. You believe in all the alternatives other than the truth. So you're of the devil, whether you consider that or not. So these circles are a counterfeit to create a cast a circle. You create this is according to. Uh, a practiser, a witch, a witch, you create a pocket and are transported, you step between the worlds in a time that is not a time, and a place that is not a place, whatever that means, delusion, 
obviously it is a construction of energy that is beneficial as a barrier and, and per, per, preserver of spiritual workings but they're counter workings so they're the preserver of that spirit is the devil so it's a, a devilish circle it's a, um, a satanic luciferian witchcraft circle whatever you want to call it whatever um, glossy coating you put on it it's cast in the spiritual circle other than the way provided which is Christ so it, it, it transports you into a spiritual realm it opens you up to spiritual demonic workings not not holy spiritual workings but dark spiritual workings counterfeit spiritual workings still others see it as a psychological construct in which we mentally draw a line between ourselves and the mundane so we can keep in mind the focus of spiritual matters the circle is really a, a sphere what does the circle do the circle comes to wicker from ceremonial magic Cere ceremonial magic adopts a more Abrahamic worldview. well I doubt that very much with angles and demons and spirits so it's a demonic it's a way of entering into the spiritual world the forbidden world that was which was taught in, in the Old Testament but it wasn't justified in the Old Testament as being correct it, it's an abomination to God to um, worship anything other than himself in, in spirit and in truth so if you want to uh, study the circle further you'll see that it's a magic circle so there's a esoteric symbol to the um, the founding of the extinction rebellion so I'd like to ask the question were all these people was it a grassroots uprising that naturally all these people said oh let's get together and ex let's uh, re let's create a, a body and group called Extinction Rebellion and rebel against the government or was it a seed planted by somebody and funded by other people to then get the crowd to get the mob to follow after it was it Pan's Piper playing somebody planted the seed and fermented it then it's taken root and it leads a lot of people who, who see some truth in the idea as a way of rebelling against their government now the question you, you must ask yourself well what, what has caused the government to to be um, to be uh, such a letdown in the eyes of the people because they're compromised also so my suggestion is the same hand that's uh, compromised our government and if you want to know how governments are compromised they're, they're they're carefully crafted into vice and blackmailed and so that that puts the arm behind the powers back so the government stopped um, acting lawfully and over time they become more and more compromised but they won't tell you what the compromise is because they're spineless and they're liars and so they go along with the powers that have got their arm behind their back and that causes uh, a disheartened spirit within the public body and then you get the same people compromising the government that then plant these seeds to get up and rebel against the government that they've they've done over and that's simply the game and that's what I've spotted in this extinction rebellion in the uh, esoteric meanings so who who are the founders well I don't think you're Oh, this is just really only scratching at the surface if you want to do um, a deeper study I, I, I just looked I'm just looking on the surface here so according to the Sun who funds Extinction Rebellion the Extinction Rebellion website says it has been raising money from crowdfunding major donors NGOs trusts and foundations it doesn't say um, it hasn't revealed who who had the original idea and like I say it wasn't a grassroots movement it wasn't the public body coming together it was a private body who who got cells to uh, cry out the idea and get get the public body behind it it doesn't say who those original people are and that may not be discovered because um, a lot of these are uh, and uh, 
uh, Luciferians who like to create these public movements like uh, Darwinism and uh, the feminist movement, abortion movements, uh, pro-Europe movements and they sponsor the crowd to rally in the street and to wave their flags to be pro this or pro that, pro abortion, pro remaining in Europe and they are crowdfunded, they are sponsored and taken root and then people get behind them but you don't see the people who, who plant the seeds because they it's like those who create war that they ferment the circumstances for war but they don't send their own sons to war and they're not in the crowds marching in the street with their flags they get other people to do it and they step back and let it take root and this is what um, Extinction Rebellion is in my opinion about 54% comes from on online crowdfunding but it doesn't really say who's behind the original idea and planted the seed my suggestion is it was a, a calculated, crafted idea to be placed in the minds of, of one or two people to be the leaders of it, to then get the public body behind, to get the mass behind its uh, argument like oh, climate change. And if you want to investigate climate change, a lot, a lot of the climate damage has been done by the same powers in uh, military intelligence. And, uh, and who um, spend money on all these um, weapons of mass destruction it can change the weather so they they uh, promote uh, scientists who've got the knowledge and then once they um, develop their knowledge and, and, and their uh, instruments like harp and all the stuff that can uh, change the climate the, then it's taken over by uh, uh, shadow military intelligence and then they they start misabusing it they start abusing the technology to create problems to, to create global pro problems but there's never anything said about 5G and the damage that's going to do, do to the uh, ecology it's easy to heat the planet up you've got all these um, look at CERN the amount of energy that takes and all the underground uh, facilities that store uh, metadata and they've got um, data banks and, uh, and and the heat that they generate and the energy it takes to keep them cool you know so there's uh, there's more it, it, it's 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 certainly possible to create global warming and melt the ice cut caps with this uh, all this um, military grade mass destruction technology so it's a it's one hand creating the problem and another hand planting the seed to to get the solution just to simply rebel against the government and the law and even those in the uh, government and law you might justify it well the government deserve it well the truth is lost either side of the argument you know the government aren't right but rebelling does, is never going to solve anything. It's not going to. It's not the answer. The only answer to this world's problems is, is, is Jesus Christ. He's he's already remedied the problems if people would accept him. And accept the science that the uh, Creator's provided, and and accept um, accept His word that explains creation, ex explains the nature of God, and it explains the purpose of life. Because that's rejected, you get all these counterfeits. And, and Extinction Rebellion is just one of those. So according to the Sun, it's crowdfunded and there's a few sponsored. There's a few sponsored. So you know what Extinction Rebellion is. It's to rebel against um, the government. But wh where did it come from? Now, the group was officially launched on October 21st, 2018 by activists from the campaign group Rising Up. Right, let me just find out. There's Rising Up. Now, again, let's look at the esoteric uh, symbology in the image. You've got three triangles. One, two... That's on the capstone, if you know anything about esoteric and luciferianism and what the capstone means, you've got two bodies, one's in red, one's dark, one's sitting on the left, one's sitting on the right, 
and the one on the on the left which is the what we're looking at the right is holding the symbol this magic circle as above so below which denotes freemasonry luciferian witchcraft priestcrafts all the things that are, are, are banished in the old testament and and um Kabbalism, another mystical magic practice, secret esoteric practices, which is all hid in the symbols. Why the need for these symbols? And where who designed the symbol? And then overshadowing the two pyramids, the all sea and I, that's the all sea and I. You've got this Christmas tree hanging upside down with, with which is barren. You know, and it's in the name of um, a Christmas protest. What it is is an anti-Christ image, because people don't believe. They're led along these by these Satanists, these witchcrafts, who get people to, on the surface of it, look rather innocent and and, and fight in a good cause. But 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 they're the creators of the cause, and I would suggest that certain members within the group are behind it they know full well what they're doing they're leading people astray into this rebellion and you've got the antichrist image i thought that very interesting the 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 burnt christmas tree hanging upside down it's to it's to be antichrist anti-law and anti the word of god preserved in the king james bible also undermine in the public's body the truth tell the truth you see in plain sight they're not telling the truth they're telling lies and it's hidden in their symbol as above so below you know and that's a spiritual meaning as in the spirit world as below as what they believe it to be as above in the heavens in their idea of their heavenly places what which they, these uh, satanists claim to be what they do in secret is acted out on the earth in the physical so what they practice in the spiritual realm is acted out in the physical realm and it's in a magic circle which is uh, the the portal between dimensions the spiritual into the satanic the luciferian and it's exactly what witchcraft is it, it, it's it's um, conjuring up familiar spirits and communicating with them and casting power to, for whatever agenda you've got against christ and it leads all the people in the era astray and because all these people are lost and they're not believers they will follow and believe a lie which is and then they write tell the truth and people claim to hold to the truth it's not the truth just like darwinism isn't the truth and what they don't tell you is darwin darwin believed in god the creator but they leave that out of the, the arguments of the science of Darwinism, which is no science at all. It's completely false. Creation science is, is true and scientifically provable. And it has been established genetically and by the word of God that you can't get a dinosaur, so when you, you can't get a, a cross in species. The species are uh, of their own kind. So animals produce the same kind within their species just like humans they always produce humans unless there's any uh, genetic manipulation and and hybridizing which could be done in the lab but that's not that's not natural science that's a man-made interjected science that's hybridism that's um, mucking around with God's creation so you've got all these symbols uh, where where's that story now this woman here i thought this was funny now according to the sun the founder of extinction rebellion protest has been accused of blind hypocrisy after it was revealed she had flown to central america for a luxury holiday despite leading calls for a rapid reduction in air travel gail bradbrook clocked up 11,000 air miles as she flew to costa rica for a a week's £2,500 stay at the, the New Life Aboga Retreat then a week tour in the tropical paradise and what made me laugh was what she got up to there 
She revealed that her holiday of self-discovery included taking hallucinogenic drugs, so she's a hippie, that inspired her calling to get with the spirit of the otter. So she's into witch witchcraft. So she's into this spiritualism. You know, and this is what's behind it. That's what's hidden in plain sight. That's the image on her breast. So then she was accused of hypocrisy by um, a politician for, for, for crying out in the streets about reducing emissions and then she goes on a, an expensive aircraft you know whether you want to argue that that's petty or not but it just shows that these people are leading people astray and, and they're hypocrites and they, they've got the money to fly on these luxury retreats and uh, do hallucinogenic drugs and getting in touch with the spirit of the otter, whatever that is, you know, to get deceived into witchcraft and demonicism, you know, to uh, cool, open yourself up by drugs and then let these deceptive spirits into your life, believing it's an otter, just like the, the um, American Indians used to do with peyote. And uh, that's, that's, that's Satan, that's the devil working through these um, catalysts to open yourself up. If you're not opening yourself up to the worship of God, you're opening your, yourself up to the worship of devil. And the devil is a prince of this world by default because of unbelief. So there we have it, a load of crank, a load of rubbish. So it, it came from a, a, a group called Uprising. And this was their um, first protest, I believe. But the original group was Uprising. The group was officially launched by activists from the campaign group Uprising. So the people of Uprising, that's those people, launched Extinction Rebellion. So I just want, what came to mind with Uprising was uh, Bob Marley's, uh, they're called Rising Up. But Bob Marley done a similar album called Uprising. Now, if I can just uh, move that up a bit, pan out a bit. You see the sun worship. So there we have the all C and I. You know, I'm not saying uh, Bob Marley was knowingly. A Luciferian, but he was deceived by deceptive spirits, the devil, and the people who are behind the promoting of Bob Marley and the publishing knew full well and done the artwork, which is probably also inspired by the devil. Now, Satanists and Luciferians worship the sun, the sun worship Saturn, so Satan, the sun. It's all to esoteric hidden meaning. So that's the all C and I. And the uprising is the rising up of the Luciferian powers. And, and, and then they get the world behind them in these re rebellions, rebel against our nation, to rebel against God, our lawful powers. Rather than tackling it lawfully, they will rebel and cause chaos and mayhem. So all these people are deceived. So if you're a member of uh, Extinction Rebellion, you've been deceived. You know, why, why, why didn't you do something on your own back rather than join hands with all these people and be led, led to the slaughter by witches and Luciferians who, who clearly know what they're about. They're about Antichrist and they're leading you into that um, movement. So I just wanted to show that just on the surface because it's window dressing you don't if you do some deeper study I'm sure you'll you'll glean a lot more from what what is really behind these people and you'll you'll probably possibly join some dots up and find some connections into the launching and and, and who these who these people are but what I thought the most obvious when I first saw it was the symbol and, and I questioned well why the symbol why the need for the esoteric image and when I saw the two triangles I knew exactly what that meant and within the, the magic circle 
I think it all it all smacks and speaks for itself, and it's just leading people astray. So if you don't know, if you're if you're watching this and you've come across this, you're a member of Extinction Rebellion. There's only a, there's only one what, one way that's going this planet is going to be saved, and that's when Jesus Christ returns back to the earth in full glory, and he's going to restore the earth back to a perfect state, and he's going to be the sovereign Lord because he's a creator of this world. And because of mankind's sins, all mankind go their own way. And you get all these groups that are trying to unite mankind being lost and, and unite it in a lie to cause further damage because they're antichrist, they hate God. Uh, they believe in God, but they don't believe that God is um, true and the creator. They're anti they hate him. So they want to they wanted to destroy Christianity in the truest sense. That's why they infiltrated organised religion, compromised it to give it a bad name. Just like they uh, infiltrated the governments, compromised them to give them a bad name. Just like they did over the centuries to royal families to compromise them, to give them a bad reputation. And this disheartens the public body. And that's a judgment of our unbelief, of the nation's unbelief in Jesus Christ. So you get all these um, injustices, you get all these problems. And you get these people that ferment problems to come up with problem, reaction, solution. And, and then uh, what, what's this going to solve? Is, is it, is it going to force the government into climate change? And then, and then, and then the country will be taxed, and then you won't. And then the the powers, evil powers, will get restrictive on property rights and your freedoms, and you'll be paying tax. You'll be paying eco tax to the the Pope, to the European powers, and all the people who fermented the problems, and that will just yoke you even deeper into the lie. So this is just the the vehicle to get people further up the road where's this leading is it really going to put change the government's mind well the compromised government are probably going to bow to it because there's people in the government who are probably a party to the the lie and the machination and then they start supporting oh we better do something because that extinction rebellion group have forced us to have caused so much disruption that we're going to, we're going to listen and take heed to the warnings and so they get stricter on the environmental tax and the problems, and they'd be go they'd be all green. But that take take their eye off the truth and the law, doing things lawfully and truly. You know they won't put creationism in so in school. They won't teach children the truth. They won't teach children the truth about Darwinism and how it how it was to uh, set set the human race against one another in pride. To hold up the carrot of the sticks, they all, which one's the better race, and it justifies the the powers, who, the dominant powers. You know, the dog, dog eat dog, the the most successful, uh, the most powerful, those with all the money, those who who um, are willing to do dirty things to get rich, to keep their wealth, consider themselves justified because they see the weak. The ignorant is weak, therefore, because they're the elect, the elite, they can justify their own, their own um, corruption and murdering people, fermenting wars, and getting all these uh, muppets to follow them, and uh, create um, a reaction, so then they can come up with a solution that they've crafted, that they've planted on, on either side of the paradigm the dichotomy that they create and then they come up with a solution in the uh, further up the road and all these people are sodomites paedophiles luciferian they hate god they hate the human race uh, and they what they want to they want to promote these things abortion to undermine the family values to undermine the principles of god which were given in the bible to uh, they hate life, they want to destroy life to come up with their own out the phoenix out, out 
out of uh, chaos comes order? Would I create the chaos to be the authors of the order, their order, their uh, Luciferian order, leading all people astray? So they're homosexual. That's why they want to promote transgenderism. The same thing. They get they they promote and. and get all the people to rally in the street equal rights, gay rights abortion rights because they, they want to sacrifice life and, and get and, you know to insult God they want to cause sodomy to insult God to, to be an offence to God because God hates sodomy and he hates abortion because it's murdering of life his life that he's created and if people don't value it, it it will be lost, it will be taken. And these people will follow after a lie. And they want to get people into witchcraft and uh, spiritualism. Because then if, if the majority of people are liberal about these things, then these people will be protected. There will be no opposition to them. The only people who are opposed to all of these things are born-again Christians and a, a small uh, minority of the Christian, the false Christian church, the apostate Christian church, who share the same values. But most of the Christian church is liberal, like the world. You know, they're of the world. They're not Christian. They're not born again. They're not Bible believers. They're just in the suit of Christianity, in the, in the, in the dressing. But uh, a true Christian is... Um, his, his body is his temple or her temple and the Holy Spirit indwells that that uh, believer and when those be believers meet together that that's the church it's a spiritual church uh, indwelling the organical physical temple of that person their body so uh, Christianity's been undermined the law's been undermined to deceive people and lead them into this chaos and this is what um, Extinction Rebellion is so uh, fair warning to people and if you um, want to be saved you just need to believe solely in the only mediator the only advocate to God to God the Father and that's the Lord Jesus Christ God the Son and then you, you, you will receive the faithful promise and be anchored to his eternal life. You would receive the Holy Spirit and your spirit will indwell God, God's spirit and you'll be completed by God, saved by God, redeemed by God. And you can't redeem yourself. The world can't sort out the sinful problems of the world because they're endemic. So all man's efforts will come to naught. A, how, a kingdom that's divided against itself will fall and you'll get these counterfeit people trying to unite by a false unity in a lie so that they have to unite in a lie because they, the, the opposition to Christianity knows that it isn't the truth and they, they, they believe that they are the truth but, and they believe that the truth that's held by Christians which they know it truly unites what unites is Jesus Christ that's the only way you can have fellowship with God but this, this world will never be put right because God God has um, prophesied a judgement like in the in the great flood the time of Noah he's going to he's going to judge the world but this time not with water but with fire so there's going to be um, a build up and judgement and then, we, then, then it's prophesied to come to the time of the great tribulation where the world and the Antichrist and the false prophet will have dominance and the Antichrist will lead the, the world in war and destruction and all these devils will get their fire they will, they will destroy all, all that's good because then they want to uh, eradicate the populations they only want people that uh, will be... Uh, loyal to their cause and united on their lie like all the organised religions like all, all the all these people all uniting on a lie and then 
then this destruction will come and then judgment God is going to pour out his judgment and wrath upon the unbelieving world and that will be the fire and these people ain't going to come out of the fire they're going to be crushed and then uh, Jesus Christ is going to come in the clouds rescue Israel, his people and put down all, the, all his enemies in one go so if you want to be safe, if you want the truth the only way, the only truth and the only life came by God, it came by the Creator, Jesus Christ and you must be born again as the Word of God says and all you do is have faith in Christ alone and believe and he will save you he's faithful to answer and then you'll know the truth and the truth will set you free and you'll be saved and you will see the world for what it is, a lie and deceived and lost so I'm going to close there in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.